Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cargo channel. Welcome to another beautiful day in the sunny state of California. Today we're going to be reviewing this. This being my 2005 CL55 AMG. I bought this car salvage flooded car from New York uh, and it costed me all in all to put it on the road was uh, about $3,000. Uh, it is finished in a color called pewter silver not that many cars in that color usually the SLs S classes and the CLs uh, higher end like the AMGs were finished in that color in this new review segments we're gonna be reviewing a lot of other cars besides mine and if you have a cool car in the Southern California area a cool daily driver or a cool project car that you want to bring up here in the Malibu canyons uh, for a review uh, hit me up on Instagram at cargoestny or uh, you can send me an email at cargoestny at gmail.com what I envision doing is going around the outside of the car then talking about the engine a little bit then going inside and looking at the interior of the car mine or yours if you want that to be your car right here in the review and then we can take a short drive down the Malibu canyons see how the car behaves on the road how drivable it is how cool it is and how fast it is so without further ado outside starting here at the front when I got this car it needed a little bit of work but not too much it did not have this front grille in the middle it still don't have this little mesh grille on the fog light it didn't even have the fog light before I started fixing it but what we installed was this souvenir front lip it's carbon fiber and it looks really really cool I should have probably turned the car the other way around so the Sun is not shining right against me uh, but if you want to check this one out, I'll link this uh, lip down below in the description as well as some other stuff that we're going to talk about. When I got this car, this grill was plasti dip black, so I cleaned that up. The car has a little more classy look with the grill, uh, the color of the car. It actually isn't the color of the car, it is silver and the car is pewter silver, but you know. Another thing we fixed was this bumper was being held by just zip ties. We got the proper hardware and installed it the right way. Uh, car originally comes on these 18 inch uh, AMG wheels. We have other wheels that we're going to be putting soon on the car. If you're not subscribed, I encourage you to. If you want to see how the new wheels look on the car, they're a secret. Uh, Adele don't spell it but if you guys want to guess what they are you can uh, leave your comment down below another thing outside we did we got the clips for these uh, side skirts uh, these are the original side skirts but they were like hanging by like one bolt so we fixed that whoever fixed the car after they were repairing it uh, didn't do a great job in the back not much the only thing we did is uh, take the ugly black AMG badges that were aftermarket off so now it has a nice clean look one thing I love about this car is uh, this pillarless window design. Uh, there is a back window, front window, but no B pillar. And the, it gives it such a cool look. It's like uh, convertible, if you want to say so. But the car is a coupe, obviously. Uh, Mercedes went to town designing this. It is based on the 220 chassis, but most of it is redesigned. And uh, look at this roof. It's unlike anything I have ever seen in another car slope straight down and instead of the seams being right here this is one piece of aluminum yeah most of these panels are actually aluminum uh, there is magnesium to reinforce the doors and the fenders are plastic way to go Mercedes also these seats are uh, reinforced with magnesium so the belt can be right here on the seat and not mounted to the chassis of the car the only other modification we did and the outside of the car is installing lowering links this is not the stock right height uh, it is a bit lower by using eBay lowering links I'm gonna link no pun intended those down below as well as well as anything that I am using on this car this right here is the lowest setting the highest setting that I have right now uh, because the car has this ABC hydraulic suspension uh, and it goes up and down actually quite fast the highest setting is actually what the car had as a normal ride height before so like this I have no problem going around town 
Engine wise, the CL55 comes with one of the best engines that Mercedes put in a car, the M113K. That's a 5.4 liter V8 that produces as near as it makes no difference, 500 horsepower to the crank. Um, the M113K is a supercharged engine that had the plug of the person who built it right on top here. It's hot, but mine was vandalized and somebody stole it. Uh, one thing that I did once I got the car, besides changing all the fluids, I changed air filters. I got the regular uh, man air filters. What was broken was the supercharger pulley bearing. We replaced that and the only modification engine wise so far is the race IQ tune, which is uh, actually pretty amazing. It makes the car a little more responsive and a little more violent. I'm pretty sure it brings the torque uh, number by just a little bit up and as well as the horsepower but that's about it for under the hood and let's get inside the car once we open this big beautiful door one interesting thing you can see is this hinge this hinge actually opens the door towards the outside so this big door can give you enough space for you to go in the car without hitting other cars next to it this beautiful dash is what uh, the W220s and uh, uh, C215s have uh, no modifications on the inside besides this little phone mount one thing that I did to the interior is I actually cleaned and conditioned the seats and these are super heavy I took one of them out and it's probably over a hundred pounds if not 200 pounds back seat you can fit two grown adults pretty comfortably to be honest Front seats are heated, cooled, massaged, well, kind of a massage because older cars, they don't have such a strong massage feature, but uh, it is there if you want to fiddle with it. A uh, few pieces in my car like this, it's a different color. This is kind of loose. I've been planning on replacing them with uh, better pieces, but for now, this is the interior. Quite frankly, the coolest gimmick of this car is the over-engineered plastic cup holder and it has as Doug Demure says work it has space for one two cups folds if you press the button it gets in and like it's never been there command unit super dated I fixed this I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want a copyright infringement uh, plan, you can still get oh uh, but I'm looking to replacing this with something that is uh, similar looking uh, with uh, modern functionality uh, like an Android uh, unit. When I bought the car, the amplifier that is uh, located in the trunk was fried because uh, the car was underwater and that component got corroded. So I bought one from eBay and replaced it. Uh, that's I think about it for the inside of the car. As you can see, pretty spacious. We have the backrests, headrests, they are automatically lowered and automatically raised by this button right here. That's about it. The car has uh, 95,000 miles, which is nothing for a 2005 car. And I'm very happy with it. Uh, let's take it down the road. All right then, uh, driving the CL55. Let's close the windows so we don't get much of the road noise and these are double pane windows uh, Mercedes thought that these are great at isolating the sound and they are now with this car and all its power the corners come way quicker than with my E-Class and because it's a heavy car it has eight pot calipers on the front whoa um, eight pot calipers on the front and four pot calipers in the back these are big Brembo brakes that are just labeled AMG on these cars and they're very expensive. So I'm trying to feather them as much as I can because uh, I'm broke to replace them. But I gotta tell you, even though it's a really heavy car, the dreaded ABC suspension uh, make it look really light. And uh, when you activate the ABC Sport, there is minimal body roll in this car and when there is a straight you press the go pedal and it actually goes quite fast I think 0 to 60 on this car is labeled by Mercedes as being 
4.1 seconds, but I think it can go faster. And uh, with the tune from Race IQ, it just gets there, I think, faster than what it's labeled to be. Canyons are not its natural habitat, but hey, uh, there is no harm in just throwing it around corners and having fun with it. As I said, dreaded ABC suspension, it's because each strut cost 1700 bucks and that's why this car depreciates so much. It was $135,000 new and um, I'm pretty sure now it's less than one tenth of the price. A lot less than one tenth of the price. But that's a win for us broke people that uh, want to have a nice over-engineered German saloon just make sure you um, allocate a little bit of money for repairs these uh, seats mine doesn't come with dynamic seats but some of the models do uh, but nonetheless it keeps you very nice and snug it has like 18 ways of adjustments and these bolsters they hug you so good that you're not going anywhere even in the big corners <laughs> there all right thank god for those big brakes otherwise you'll probably find me in the bottom of a ravine somewhere so what about future modifications you say um i think before we put more uh, go go juice into this car and more go fast modifications uh, i'm gonna tackle the cooling first i have a sub near secondary heat exchanger in order that's gonna arrive soon so if you're not subscribed uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when that video comes up but other than that i think we're just gonna do cooling we'll add a little more power uh reasonable we're not gonna make sure this m113k implodes on itself and uh, maybe a few more aerodynamic parts and that will complete this car so if you guys come this far into the video please hit the thumbs up it helps me a lot helps motivate me make more of these videos helps uh, YouTube algorithm uh, recommend my content to other car guys uh, and you like this car CL55 or my E350 that is converted visually to an E63 and us going to uh, car events and other car things hit the like button subscribe I'll see you in the next video bye